What's up, everybody? Don't forget to save, aka Sam, back at you guys. I told you I was going to open another package, and here we are. But first, before I get to open the package, I had a bit of MLB news here for you guys. Um, some of you might know, some of you may, may not know. Uh, yesterday, this guy right here, Kyle Seeger, retired for the Seattle Mariners, so 12 years in the bigs. Um, he didn't have bad stats for a third baseman. He was a solid baseball player. I don't think he's going to make the haul or anything, but uh, it's not his rookie card, but that's his Gypsy Queen number to 250. So I hope, uh, let's all hope that uh, Kyle, here, we'll put him up next to Ichiro. And I, I believe he's related to Corey Seager, if I'm not mistaken. You guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. Anyway, uh, hopefully he has a, a productive and happy life after baseball. Um, it's easy to forget about these guys once they retire and stuff, and they're not in the public eye as much. So just wanted to highlight that. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard about it, but I was kind of shocked by it. Uh, I kind of I don't really follow the Mariners, but like I don't know, 12 years. I thought he, I thought he was an like there was no indication he was going to retire. So anyway, anyway, on to JT's package here, real quick. Um, JT uh, sent me this uh, as a gift. Uh, I didn't even ask him for it. Uh, I was going to offer to pay, but he sent it to me for free. So shout out to JT on that one. And I've got a letter from JT. So let's. Or a note. I don't know if it's a letter so much as a note. Yeah, it's a note. Um, it says, Sam, thanks for being a subscriber. And all you do, brother, it is much appreciated, JT. And there you guys go. There you guys go. I'll just show you, show you what he wrote there. A nice little note. Thanks for that, JT. By the way, go check JT's channel out, guys. He does... Uh, he sells, uh, like, does vintage sales and stuff on there all the time. Uh, Sunday afternoon, I know he does them. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed to JT or you aren't a subscriber to him, um, go check him out. Definitely uh, worth it. Like I said, if I ever get the, get into the money uh, to head to do it, I would definitely uh, be buying some vintage cards. He sells uh, graded cards and stuff, too, on there. So, all kinds of good stuff on JT's channel, guys. If you, like I said, if you're... I'll put his link in the description, of course, because that's what we that's how we do it around here. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to make sure I don't destroy anything here. So alright, here's the first package. Here's the first card out of here. And there is one of my PC guys, and that's awesome. It's a U Darvish opening day card. Opening day stars. So here we go. I don't know if there's okay, that's just uh, it's okay. I don't have to take the I don't have to take the tape off of that one, so it's just a, I don't know if it's a rookie card or what year that's from, 2014? I don't know what U Darvish's rookie year is. Hold on, I got his card right here. Let's check it out. Uh, two, 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 two. I believe it was 2012, so it's not his rookie card, but it's still a pretty sweet U Darvish, though. And I didn't even know what, <laughs> he's one of my PC guys, and I don't even know what year he was. his rookie is. Um... I, I sort of half-heartedly collect you, Darvish. Uh, he was teammates with Otani, and uh, I sort of I try to keep all the, the all the Japanese guys are kind of uh, related, and they all came from Japan. So uh, I try to you know, collect those guys and keep them together, the ones that I collect anyway. Sort of like a lineage there. And here is another PC guy that he sent to me, and these are nice. This is. A season crown. This is some foil madness here, guys. And that's a nice card. It is a Kenny Lofton season crown. Check that out, guys. Bam! JT hooking it up, guys. Kenny Lofton gold crown. I love that card. Thanks again, JT, for sending these. Uh, I do appreciate it. And here's another nice one. And... It's a 93, so it's the year after his rookie, but it's still a nice one. Still a PC guy. Another Kenny Lofton, the Naturals. Um, you know, I, I meant to do some research before I shot this video. But I believe, uh, I might as well say this while I'm showing this. Look at that gold foil. Thanks thanks for sending those, JT. Um, so anyway, uh, the thing about Kenny Lofton is, it's like, uh, you know, uh, did the, when we did the roast of Mike the Car Dude, uh, you know, I was making the Indians jokes, and and joking aside, like uh, I grew up watching Kenny Lofton. He was my favorite baseball player. 
and like I was rooting for those in '90s Indians teams, and uh, it kind of broke my heart that uh, they didn't get it, you know, because they had a lot of great players, not just Lofton on the team. And uh, anyway, uh, I think that I believe now this is just my theory and the reason why Kenny didn't get in the Hall of Fame. A lot of people point to the steroids era as why he didn't get in. But I believe it has just as much to do with the Indians not winning the World Series. Though I've heard also that the World Series rings don't count as much in baseball for Hall of Fame as in other sports. So I don't know how you know accurate that might be or not. But I do believe Kenny should have been in the Hall of Fame. Um, he's a Hall of Famer in my eyes. And he had multiple gold gloves. Uh, part of the 1,000 hit club, I believe. Um, played for a long time. A journeyman with several different teams. I think the guy should have been in. He's definitely at least a, you know, on the bubble for the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. I, I think he deserves reconsideration. We'll put it that way. Anyway, I've rambled on about Kenny Lofton long, long enough. Uh, thanks for those cards, brother. And thanks for the Darvish as well, because these are all PC guys, so I appreciate that. Again, go check his channel out. Uh, JT Baseball, BB, he goes by. Um, I'll put his link in the description below. And until next video, which should be after the first of the year, uh, love your hobby, and I'll love you back. Peace.